All right, that was some very random playing on this brand new Matchless Laurel Canyon. Um, this is the newest stamp by Matchless, and this is the first one we've got. This specific one is actually serial number four, um, and it's very cool. It kind of reminds me a lot of like a Princeton, just kind of like the tightness of the low end and just kind of how it breaks up a little bit, but it still has that kind of upper mid-range push and all that clarity that we uh, have grown to know and love from Matchless. So it's a really cool kind of hybrid. It's the first time using 6v6s in the power section, uh, and it just makes for a really versatile, just really cool, unique amp. So uh, today, basically, I've got this Sir. This is a Custom S HSS, of course. Um, I do have a Black Tiger delay in the effects loop. That's from Greer. Um, so let's just run the Laurel Canyon kind of through its paces a little bit, turn a few knobs, and uh, let's see what happens. So I'll turn the delay off and we'll just push it. So as you can see, this thing can absolutely rock. Um, this That was the humbucker, of course, um, but just cranked up a little bit. It's got really good crunch to it. Um, before with the master maxed out, the volume brought down. It's kind of that edge of breakup thing. Go to the neck. <laughs> So clean there, go to the humbucker. Start getting a little bit of that breakup coming from it. Super nice there. Let me try to just smooth it out a little bit and kind of do like more of a jazzy thing. Shovel down a little more bass. Bring that down. Keep that up. So it'll get super smooth, and the whole time, even with the master crank, this isn't a very loud amp. It's not too bad. Um, very usable, any type of stage, I would feel comfortable with this amp, um, no matter how small it was. Uh, but let's just see what else we can do. Just kinda, let me crank it with the master up, too. So we'll get kinda a lot of harmonics coming out, a lot of volume, see what happens. So that's the Laurel Canyon. Hopefully I did a good job showcasing sort of the versatility of it. 
I would imagine a lot of the players that's going to be choosing this amp are going to want it to be more of that kind of clean edge of breakup platform. Maybe hit it with some pedals, which it does very well. Um, but all in all, very versatile no matter what the application. If you're in a 70s riff rock band, it's got you covered. Uh, if you're playing at a church with a big pedal board, it's definitely got you covered. Um, yeah, think typical matchless, but with a little more bottom in, kind of kind of Princeton-y kind of feel down low. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, you can check this out at MidwoodGuitarStudio.com or visit us here in the shop in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thanks so much.